Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's fifth grade math review video, we will be going over decimal place value. This is part one where we will talk about standard, expanded, and word form. Remember, fifth graders, what you do today can improve all your tomorrows. That's by Ralph Marston. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so that you can receive notifications each time we load up a video, especially the fifth grade math and reading videos. Starting January 2020, we will have fifth grade online math review boot camps for, the tech, for Texas and other state math tests. Keep an eye out because those dates for fifth grade will be coming out in the middle of November. To follow along with this video, you can purchase the fifth grade math review workbook in our store. There will be a link in the description box so that you can click it and we will send your workbook to you. Let's get started. In our example, we have 3,684 and 26 hundredths. Okay, now let's look at our place value chart. We see that our three is in the thousands place, the six is in the hundreds place, the eight is in the tens place, the four is in the ones place, the two is in the tenths place, and notice fifth graders, it's after that decimal point, okay? And the six is in the hundreds place. So in standard form, we just write it like a regular number, okay? We have 3,684, we put our decimal point, and then we have our 26 after that. Let, let's look and see how it will look in expanded form. We have two ways that we can write it in expanded form. The first one is we have 3,000 plus 600 plus 80 plus four plus, now let's look, we have 0 0.20, okay? Because that zero, I'm sorry, that two is in the tenths place. We put that zero in front of it because we know that there's, um, we have a number in front of it, but for this, we just need 0 0.20 plus 0 0.06. So for numbers that are in the tenths place, it would be zero point, whatever the number is. Now that zero that's after the two, you can put it there or you don't have to. It's up to you, okay? And then we have for the six, it's in the hundreds place. So we have zero point zero six. Or another way that we can write it is for expanded form is three times 1,000 plus six times 100 plus eight times 10 plus four times one plus two times a tenth and plus six times a hundredth, okay? So in expanded form, that is, that these are, excuse me, the two ways we can write the number 3,684 and 26 hundredths in expanded form. In word form, we write the words, right? Pretty simple. We have 3,684 and 26 hundredths. Now let's look at another number. This one is, in our place value chart, we see a four in the hundreds place, a five in the tens place, a one in the ones place, there's our decimal point. Then we have nine in the tens place and two in the hundreds place. In standard form, we will just write the number regularly and that is 451.92. 
In expanded form, again, we know that there are two ways that we can write it, and it is 400, because that four is in the hundreds place, plus 50, because we know that that five is in the tens place on our place value chart, plus one, plus 0 0.90, plus 0 0.02. Or another way we can write it is four times 100 plus five times 10 plus one times one plus nine times a tenth plus two times a hundredth, okay? And in word form, we have 451 and 92 hundreds. Let's look at another example. Texas Rangers Elvis Andrus on base percentage or OBP is the acronym is 0.313. For standard form, again, we just write the number regularly. It would be 0.313. For expanded form, we know that there are two ways that we can write it. The first way is 0.30 plus 0 0.01 plus, plus, and take notice because we've introduced another place on our place value chart, which is the thousandths place. And that's 0 0.003. Or another way that we can write it is three times 0 0.1 plus one times 0 0.01 plus three times 0 0.001. Now, and, it, and I just wanna take one moment for you to notice that when we are writing our decimal places and we're multiplying, the one is where that place value is. So for instance, for the tenth, tenth place, it's a tongue twister. There is a one in the tenth place. For the hundredths, we see that we have a one in the hundredths place. And for the thousandths, we have a one in the thousandths place, okay? For our word form, we have 313 thousandths. Let's look at another example. An iPhone 11 Pro with 640, I'm sorry, let me start over. An iPhone 11 Pro with 64 gigabytes cost $1,081.42. Okay, let's look at that in standard form. We just write the number $1,081.42. Now, let's see what it looks like in expanded form. We have 1,000 plus 80 plus 1 plus 0 0.40 plus 0 0.02. Or we can write 1 times 1,000 plus 8 times 10 plus 1 times 1 plus four times a tenth plus two times a hundredth. And in word form, it is $1,081.42. So you can see that even when it comes to money, we are using our decimal place value the same way. So let's jump. These were all examples that we just wanted to go over as a review before we get started on our problems. Let's look at problem number one. A temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is shown in expanded notation. How is this temperature in degrees Fahrenheit written as a numeral? So the first question we are going to ask is, what are we looking for? We are looking for how the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is written as a numeral. And as a numeral is the same thing as saying standard notation 
or just saying number, okay? So we're looking for how do we write this expanded notation as a number? The second question we are going to ask ourselves is, what information can help us find the answer? Okay, let's look. So that we know that nine times 10, that nine is in the tens place and the four is in the tenths place, okay? Again, we know that the nine is in the tenths place and the four is in the tenths place. How can we solve the problem? Well, in order for us to solve this problem, let's take out our place value chart so that we can visually see how this number should be written, okay? Now, again, we said that the nine is in the tens place. So in our place value chart, we have the nine in the tens place. Wait a minute, why did we put a zero in the ones place? That is a great question because we don't have anything. There was nothing, it didn't say 91, it just said nine times 10 and there was nothing that indicated we needed to multiply anything by one. So because we don't have a number to multiply for the ones place, we know that that means there's a zero in that place, okay? So anytime you're writing a number and there is, and you know that what's the next place value that's supposed to go there, if you're not given a number to multiply it by, that means that number is zero. So in the ones place, we are going to put a zero and we have a four in the tenths place. So what is the correct answer? So let's go back again and look at our place value chart. We see that we have a nine in the tens place, we have a zero in the ones place, and we have a four in the tenths place. Can you tell me what the correct answer is? If you said 90.4, you are absolutely correct. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did great. Let's move to question number two. A bank received a check for $2,609.75. How is this number written in expanded notation? A, two times 1,000 plus six times 100, plus nine times 10, plus seven times a 10th, plus five times a hundredth. B, two times 1,000, plus six times 100, plus nine times one, plus seven times a 10th, plus five times 100. C, two times 1,000 plus six times 10 plus nine times one plus seven times one plus five times one. D, two times 1,000 plus six times 100 plus nine times one plus seven times one tenth plus five times 1,000. Oh, I apologize, that's seven times 100 plus five times 1,000. First question we are going to ask ourselves, fifth graders, is what are we looking for? We are looking for how $2,000 $609.75 is written in expanded notation. So what information can help us find the answer? Well, of course, we are going to pull out our handy dandy place value chart so that we can figure out how can we write this number in expanded form, okay? So we know what it is in word form, right? Because that is what was given to us. We know that it's 2,000 
$609.75. So this is what we put in our place value chart. So let's look at our place value chart. We have a two in the thousands place, a six in the hundreds place, a zero in the tens place, a nine in the ones place, there's our decimal, a seven in the tenths place, and a five in the hundredths place. Now you may be asking yourself, Miss Jackson, why did we put a zero in the tenths place? Remember what I said, we, if you don't hear like 13, 14, or anything like that, that means that there is a zero in the tens place, okay? In standard form, this is how it is written. 2609.75. How do we solve this problem? In order for us to solve this problem, we are going to break it down so that we can see where the place value for each number is and how we can put it in expanded form, okay? We have our two in the thousands place because it's 2,000. We have six times 100 because the six is in the hundreds place. Do we have the zero times anything? No, but one thing you could do if it could help you is to put zero times 10 or zero times whatever number. But in this specific problem, we would we could put zero times 10, but we didn't because we know that there's a zero there, okay? Nine times one, because the nine is in the ones place. Seven times one tenth, because the seven is in the tenths place. And five times one hundredths, because there is a five in the hundreds place. Now, let's look at our, looking at our number in expanded form, let's see if we can find out what the correct answer is, okay? Let's see if we can find out what the correct answer is. Looking at our answer choices, we see that B is the correct answer, okay? B is the correct answer because it matches each number that we have. And I just went back so that we can do a comparison. We have the two times 1,000, check. Six times 100, check. Nine times one, check. Seven times one ten, check five times 100, check again. So again, yes, B is the correct answer. And that is it for our decimal place value where we look at how decimals are written in standard, expanded, and word form. Thanks a lot, fifth graders. See you soon.